free energy and uh, the law of the universe uh, and so on uh, and uh, the neanderthal and the the cro manian man and then suddenly takes a huge leap in consciousness is uh, the uh, law of the universe itself i feel and uh, so against uh, this universal law that the the forces of light will be victorious because we have hi it's starcy channel i'm yoshi so today we are very fortunate uh, to uh, be able to interview uh, this amazing uh, person, uh, Mr. Foster Gamble. Uh, we are very happy to uh, introduce him. Uh, he is the person uh, who uh, created the movie Drive. And uh, in that movie, he shares so many things that you should know, such as uh, free energy and international finance and the true uh, history and so on. So uh, let us invite uh, and introduce Mr. Foster Gamble. Foster, please. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. So uh, on this channel, um, we have uh, a lot of uh, discussions uh, with people uh, who are born here uh, uh, in the soul uh, that uh, is called a uh, star seed. Uh, basically, uh, star seed uh, means uh, uh, the people who have uh, memories uh, of, um, well, you know, of outer planet you know memory and uh, some people remember uh, being uh, in Sirius or uh, Alctos or Pleiades uh, and uh, in your movie uh, Drive uh, also uh, you uh, talk about uh, extraterrestrials uh, and you know human history and you know the relationship and connection uh, with uh, extraterrestrials uh, so would you please uh, talk uh, about uh, that i'd be happy to it's a very very interesting topic mm -hmm. uh, and people ask me all the time do you think that there are extraterrestrials and i say well I have always assumed that we're not the only life in the universe. And I've come to believe that each of us is at least partly extraterrestrial. Because, you know, if you look back at the history of evolution, it goes along, gets up to the, uh, the Neanderthal and the, the Cro-Magnon man, and then suddenly takes a huge leap in consciousness that has no explanation that makes sense to me other than interbreeding with extraterrestrials. Uh, yes, so uh, in your uh, movie, uh, you, uh, you, you shared uh, those uh, existence uh, of uh, the ancient, uh, uh, ancient drawings uh, and, you know, or Asian people do something that looks like a helicopter or a jet plane or something. And uh, also, uh, we have uh, crop circles all around the world. And, you know, these things have been happening uh, all the time. And uh, the crop, those crop circles uh, look like uh, a completely beautiful sacred geometry, right? So, uh, we might, you know, we might assume, you know, that might be the message from extraterrestrials or something. And uh, do you think uh, those crop circles were created by extraterrestrials? I do. Uh, of course, there have been some fake ones. Mm -hmm. uh, but when we use the term sacred geometry, mm -hmm. you know, what do we mean? And for me, sacred geometry is geometry <clears throat> is the geometry that nature uses 
to bring spirit into matter. And we see that in the, uh, in the Masuru Emoto and Hiro Emoto uh, water crystals. The, that's also sacred geometry. The, those are the shapes that the unified field uses to manifest matter. Uh, yes, uh, it's very interesting uh, that uh, you mentioned uh, this uh, unified uh, field. Um, so uh, uh, we have uh, this uh, law of the universe. And uh, I think uh, love and harmony uh, is what uh, creates uh, the law of uh, the universe. And uh, with uh, the water crystal uh, Photography technology, uh, Masaru Emoto uh, made it possible to see uh, those shapes uh, in water, which uh, is very beautiful. And uh, in that geometrical shape, you know, that we call uh, sacred geometry, right? Uh, and uh, that uh, crop circles you know, or can uh, show those geometries uh, as uh, well. And uh, in our other interview, um, we uh, talked uh, about free energy and uh, the law of the universe uh, and so on. Uh, and uh, I think uh, these uh, subjects are very important uh, to uh, create uh, the uh, new uh, era and uh, because uh, up until now uh, we humans uh, have been confined uh, in this 3d field which is like a ma matrix and uh, however um, uh, we need to uh, be awakened to uh, the new uh, value, and uh, we, uh, our soul, uh, you know, also uh, have to, uh, our souls have to be open uh, to uh, the un universe, and uh, we have to live uh, more uh, universally aligned way, uh, I suppose. Uh, so, could you uh, share your opinion uh, about this? Yes. Um to start with the crop circles again, I believe the major purpose of the crop circles was to show humans the nature of the unified field and how to access energy harmoniously. I also believe that the best way to transcend, to liberate ourselves from the 3D matrix is what I call the science of love. And what I mean by that is that we can intentionally practice mastery of our physical body through mm -hmm. sports, dance, mm -hmm. yoga, martial arts, meditation. Mm -hmm. Also, we need to learn, to, we need to learn through practice to allow our emotions to flow through so mm -hmm. that we free up our fear, our sadness, our anger. We allow that to move through our body so that it becomes excitement and enthusiasm and joy. Mm -hmm. And then also we need to do the same practice with our mind. Mm -hmm. You can do that through, uh, through many different arts, particularly meditation. Mm -hmm. uh, and I believe that our brain is not the source of our consciousness it's an antenna mm. and it's picking up the consciousness of the unified field and we need to learn how to focus our mind into the one point and at the same time have our mind open to the universe so this these are the key elements of the science of love when we have enough mastery of the physical the emotional and the mental, then our Taurus is clear and spirit can come through and mm -hmm. we're fully connected with the unified field. 
And that liberates us from the 3D matrix. Uh, yes, uh, I uh, totally uh, agree with you. And uh, so, uh, you know, in through your movie, uh, you uh, share the information uh, about what's going on uh, around the world, uh, which is the outer world, right? Uh, our outside world, uh, you know, we have the darkness and uh, you are showing, you know, very easy to understand way uh, for us. And uh, most of us uh, might feel, well, it's not possible to fight against uh, that a uh, huge giant uh, power, you know, dark uh, corporations and so on. Uh, so uh, each individual might feel that way. However, you know, uh, this so-called uh, matrix is uh, giving us this opportunity to look within and, uh, you know, to know uh, to find out uh, this uh, unified field. And uh, this unified field uh, is something that um, we can see things uh, from the viewpoint of the creator, I suppose. Um, so we ourselves can start creating. So... Uh, like like uh, the creator, uh, and uh, we can connect uh, with the creator. Hopefully, uh, is my understanding okay? Mm. Yes, it's very important what you're saying because the the few dark souls on planet Earth who are trying to control everything. They want to limit our consciousness so that we don't know that we are free and expressions of the creator. That's why the global cult, the cabal, the Illuminati, by whatever name you call these controllers, that's why they want us to be sick, ignorant, and afraid. And these are people who themselves have lost touch with their soul. And therefore, they want us to be like them because they are sick, they mm. are afraid, and they are ignorant of love. Mm. And this is what gives me confidence that the, the forces of light will be victorious because mm. we have the life force itself is on our side. We have the truth of reality and we have love all on our side. So we are unstoppable. Yes, uh, I completely uh, agree with you. And uh, well, uh, in conclusion, um, you know, we talked about a unified uh, field uh, and uh, 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 that uh, field, uh, you know, uh, is uh, the uh, law of the universe itself, I feel. And uh, so against uh, this universal law, you know, they are fighting uh, those like, dark side, you know, uh, uh, trying to go against the uh, law of the universe. Uh, uh, that's why it's not possible for them to uh, uh, win and completely uh, control. Uh, and uh, because everything uh, harmonizes under the law of the universe, so that's the direction that everything is moving towards. So I agree. Uh, thank you so much for all this uh, wonderful uh, talk. Uh, and uh, I'd like to uh, move uh, towards a uh, worldview, more expanded worldview uh, from uh, the uh, universal uh, point of view. And uh, so that uh, we all can create uh, this uh, wonderful uh, world. Uh, in the near future. Thank you so much. You are welcome.
Thank you very much. And, uh, uh, you know, we have uh, this uh, custom uh, to wave our hands uh, at the end of uh, this program, uh, saying, Dewa, Dewa. It's like, you know, um, like, see you or something like that. Okay. So we all can <laughs> wave our hands, saying, Dewa, Dewa. Dewa, Dewa. Dewa, Dewa. Thank you.